Hi, it's Christian Young here from Impress Solutions. Out of date procedures, procedures with no risk assessments or missing risk assessments, missing procedures. The front line don't know what is in procedures. Why are we still having this problem in 2023? So what is the problem? If you don't have up to date frontline approved procedures which are based on risk or some type of risk assessment then you're not setting up your frontline workers for success and they are at risk of serious injury or worse or there's obviously a legal compliance aspect that sits off that as well. Every site we've worked with has had issues with their procedural documentation and if you have gaps in your procedures and risk assessments there's at least three uh, issues that this can create for you. So the first one is for the frontline workers. So one, they're at increased risk of injury or worse, which I've mentioned. In addition, they have no confidence in the safety and health management system. So the thing that's supposed to help them uh, describe what they need to do and how they need to do it. The second one is should there be a serious incident or worse, then the investigation from an external party could include um, recommendations for prosecution if we have gaps in the safe and health management system. And thirdly, just through general uh, regulator inspections and visits, if there's consistent breaches and gaps, then there's uh, obviously a risk there of some directives. So if you know you or your business has issues with your safety health management system documentation, be it procedures and risk assessments and whatnot, there's at least three things you should do. The first is to develop a process map where you identify all of your operational risks, all of your operational activities and cross-reference that against your legislative requirements and other internal and external requirements. The second one is to make sure, take all of your current uh, procedures and ensure they're reviewed and approved by the frontline workers to give the best chance of success to matching what the work is that's actually performed. And the third one is make sure there's some type of risk assessment or risk-based document that sits behind the operational procedures which shows how you've got to what's in that operational procedure. If you need some help with any of that process, we have a copy of a template to map out your SHMS. If you click the link, we'll give you a copy of that. As always, that's my thoughts. Tell me what you think. Thank you. Bye-bye.